Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Brandon and in today's video we're going to do a product review on a camp light and these things are kind of all the rave right now in the overland community and the camping community. They're lights that are on a telescope or a tripod and it's adjustable. There's a couple different brands out there and they seem like they're kind of a hot item right now. Advertisements on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, everywhere of these particular lights. I haven't been able to choose one. This one in particular kind of caught my attention because it has solar charging capability and it comes apart and you can use it as a power bank also. So it's definitely interesting, it caught my eye. Can't wait to try it out. So let's go ahead and unbox it and see what it's all about. The Radiance Solar Light Cray Fuel. I'm also curious how much space this is going to take up and how big it is. This company also makes rooftop tents, other power banks, solar chargers. So they're definitely getting into the overland game. I'm curious to see if their products are quality or not. Okay. I like the bag. Comes in a nice bag. So here's the light. I want to actually take out the tripod first and get this set up. Since I do have a YouTube channel and I film a lot of things. I have a lot of tripods and I feel a lot of tripods and I can tell you right off the bat, this is aluminum, feels pretty pretty sturdy. It does not feel cheap, but this feels, feels good quality. No complaints there. Let's go ahead and get the light out. So as you can see, there are two lights. This is the main light. This is the secondary light, which this also works as a power bank, apparently. And it's magnetic, so you can stick it to multiple areas. On the back here, we have our solar panel. So that is very cool. This is very cool. I like that it's solar charging. Okay, well, let's see what else we got in the bag. We have a USB-C. That means that this thing also charges primarily by USB-C, which is very cool. Um, and then we have some stakes for the tripod so when we can really secure it to the ground when we're out camping. All right, let's go ahead and charge this bad boy up. So I went ahead and plugged in my USB-C on the main unit and you can see this green light flashing means that it's charging. Apparently this will remain green and stay on once it's fully charged. We are fully charged overnight. The green light here indicates that we're at 100% charge. This is the power button. We're gonna do a long press to turn it on. This is low, tap it again. This is medium lumens, tap it again. This is our brightest setting, our highest lumen. And that is bright, nice. We'll double tap it for SOS if we wanna use that SOS feature. And then once again, it's a long press to turn it off. So to remove the secondary light, you just grip it and pull it out. There is a magnet here and a hook here. There's multiple ways. So you could hook this on something and let it hang, or you could utilize the magnet and attach it to something and it's going to stick. So the secondary light has a power button here. It's the same thing, I believe. A long press to turn it on. That's low, that's medium. That's high, double tap for SOS. Long press to turn it off. The magnet is very strong. The hook seems like it's decent quality and you could get any angle really with that hook on there too. That's pretty cool. And then to reattach it, it looks like there's three pins here. I'm gonna line up those three pins. Oh yeah, and the magnet just grabs right a hold of it. So it's really easy to attach back to the main light. They advertise that it takes about 32 hours to fully charge both lamps with just solar power. Or if you're using the USB-C, it takes about seven hours to fully charge it. Um, but having that solar capability is definitely gonna improve the longevity of the battery life, especially when you're going off the grid. Solar power is such, an, uh, such a great option, especially where I live, it's sunny most of the year and I can really utilize the sun to power this thing. The secondary lamp can also be used as a power bank. Here you can see that there is a USB output, so this can charge your phone. You can use this as a backup battery itself. I'll probably bring this piece uh, inside the rooftop tent at nighttime, use it as a tent light and a battery bank to charge my phone inside the tent. 
They also advertise this as being waterproof, so it should hold up to the elements and last outside. When you use it, you can leave it out there. That click is so satisfying. <laughs> I like that. Well, the first thing I did was I took off the secondary light and I placed it all over the truck and tried to find out exactly what was metal and what the magnet would stick to. I really think this light is awesome because it's modular. It's really nice at the campsite. I threw it in the tent and used it as a tent lantern and then I charged my phone. This thing is very modular. It's very energy efficient. I definitely recommend it. I usually have a list of pros and cons. There's not much cons to this light. I feel like it's made out of solid materials. It's gonna last. If anything, I would like it to be maybe one foot taller. Bugs are usually attracted to the light. If it's up high, the bugs are out of my way as well. You can see this is how high it goes. I wish it would go maybe six inches higher. That's my only complaint. Just keep the bugs a little bit further away. At this point, the bugs are still kind of right here in my face. Very small nitpicky thing, but I never like to do a review without listing any cons because nothing is perfect. But I gotta say this light is darn near close to it. They did reach out and send me a referral code. So if you guys hit the link below and you use the, the discount code Hollow Hollow Hikers, you will get 5% off. It doesn't cost you anything. If you found this video useful at all, hit the thumbs up button and comment below what light you use at camp. And as usual, get outside, stay hydrated and keep on moving.